All right, today I'm going to explain to you on the Fabulous Maths with Barb's YouTube channel how to write an algebraic expression for a sentence. So, first of all, I need to write a sentence for g subtracted from 12. I have no idea what g is, but that really doesn't matter. What I know that subtracted means is take away. So, and g was subtracted from 12. That means I started with 12 and g was subtracted from it. So in algebra, that looks like 12 minus g. The next one I'm going to do is 5 take away, taken away from k. So that means, the word from means I'm going to start with k, and 5 was taken away from it. So my expression is going to be k minus 5. Remember that an expression does not have an equal sign. If it had an equal sign in it, it would be called an equation. All right, something a little bit harder now. The total number of legs, we need to write an expression for the total number of legs if there are, are chairs. I have no idea how many chairs I have, but if I had R of them, that letter R is going to stand in for however many numbers of chairs that I have. So I know that there are four legs for every chair. Genius, isn't it? Four legs equals one chair. Okay, so, but I have R chairs. So, how many legs am I going to have if I have R chairs? So, what if I do R times 4? So, if I had one chair, that would give me four legs. That makes sense. If I had two chairs, that would give me eight legs, and that makes sense. Okay, what if I had a hundred chairs? Could my expression help me find out how many, how many legs I have in total? So in that case, the number of chairs is a hundred, so R would be a hundred. So I would have 100 times four equals 400. So if I had four, 100 chairs, I would have 400 chair legs. I enjoy algebra.